Hello, hello everyone. It is August 21st today and I've driven quite a ways for one day to chase some pinks because it's a it's an odd year pinks run in BC in the odd years so drove down got my fly rod my spinning rod we're gonna try to get on some pinks today I only got the one day to fish so hopefully we can you know get it one fish to shore that's the goal one fish so we're gonna bounce around probably till dark it's like 9 a.m right now uh, fit pink salmon are are tied they're not tied dependent but they like to come in with the tide so our first tide this morning was at like a 4 a.m which i was not waking up for so i got another high tide at six hopefully it pushes some more fish up i think sunset's at 8 15 or 8 30. try to get on uh get on one pink no retention that's okay though i just want to hold it in my hands so i just went down to the river right where near the parking lot is and uh some guy had one on already so they're definitely in the river let's see if we can make it happen Here's a salmon here. Be the only one we get today. I can see them rising. Look at him. There he is. First pink salmon. It's catching. Release only, so let's get him back. Here we are. First pink salmon. Pacific pink salmon. It's catch and release only for these guys, so I'm gonna let them go. Go so beautiful he is. That was uh, my fourth fish I had hooked up to, and he wasn't even hooked that well. He. Uh, Oh, I was scared I was gonna lose them. But you got them. They're. I have totally misunder. I, I've totally underestimated these fish. 
they bite so much harder than I thought they were going to for their size. So let's uh, let's get one on the fly. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, baby. Hopefully we have them pinned good. Ooh, these guys are tough. There we go. <laughs> okay. I think he's good. I'll show you what I was using to catch that last fish. I tied up this little pink, I don't even know what it is, on uh, Friday, Thursday night there. Tied this thing up. I just used some Flashaboo, some pink Marabou, and some pink uh, Chenille. That is it on a 3 aught salmon hook. And I bought this poly leader, because all I have is floating line, so I bought a poly leader with 1.5 sink, but it just wasn't getting me down to where I needed to be. So I crimped on this little, there you can see it, little piece of lead here to help me get down a little bit. And that's what, uh, what that last fish hit on. Okay guys, caught one pink on the uh, spinning rod and one pink on the fly rod. It's three o'clock, I could keep fishing, but I don't want to, stress these fish out anymore that last one didn't took a while to recover he did kick off but took a while to recover and it's a no retention salmon numbers in BC are hurting my personal morals I'm gonna stop fishing and uh, let all the other fish that are sitting in this pool behind me uh, make their way up the river to spawn and try to get our numbers back up in BC because they are low zero retention on any of these salmon I think it's the first time in a long time uh, but that's that's happened for pinks pinks are known to return in pretty high numbers so it's sad to see that our salmon numbers are are falling so so hard so I'm gonna keep the pressure off I'm gonna go back to uh, my buddy's place and uh, drive back to Kamloops tomorrow so that was pretty successful uh, little 
fishing trip here. Drove like seven hours to get here, but I would say it's worth it. Knocked pinks off my list. Got, uh, knocked them off the fly rod list too. So can't complain. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching guys. And we'll, we'll see you out there.